Probably the first three drivers to come to mind for this year, Dale Earnhardt, Davey Allison, and Tim Richmond. Astoundingly, Tim won his first race after missing the first half of this season, recovering from an illness that struck him down over the winter months. Even more incredibly, he won the next race, Pocono and Riverside, back to back. His career almost reads like a novel, a standout high school athlete, a winner in several forms of racing cars, then the critical sickness, and the inevitable rumors. Recently, Tim talked candidly with our Jerry Punch about what he has gone through off the track since late December of 1986. The doctors legitimately told you that there's a chance that you wouldn't make it. Yeah, they told me, uh, you know, had I not checked in <clears throat> within a day or two of when I did, there might not have been any reason to check in. And uh, there was um, some serious doubts there as to whether or not I would make it even after I did check in. Um, and there were some serious um, times that I wished that I wouldn't have. I was ready to check out. I mean, it's how bad it, I felt. Were, were drugs involved? Was there a drug problem uh, that led or precipitated anything as far as the illness is concerned? No, there was no drug problem at all. Uh, although I guess it would have been appropriate to, to say, I guess the status symbol used to be tennis courts and swimming pools and now it turned into going to the Betty Ford Center but uh, <laughs> no there was no drug problem at all involved I heard that same that same rumor uh, that I was in a drug rehab center in Texas uh, which I never did hear the Betty Ford one, which disappointed me but uh, nothing like that was the case the other rumors obviously in today's culture was that uh, you had some sort of terminal condition, be it cancer or be it uh, infectious disease that was incurable, uh, that you would not come back. No, I mean, you know, they had cancer, they had AIDS, they, you know, I had everything there was to have. Um, no, I didn't feel like surfaces, surfacing to tell anybody. Uh, you know, it wasn't none of their business in the first place, as far as I was concerned. Um, the first... Uh, thing on my agenda the number one priority on my agenda was to get better and, and uh, you know chasing after these knotheads with these rumors and stuff was not I didn't feel one of the ways to do it to get better